one minute, 54 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates... Wednesday, July 16, 1969. Pad 39A, Kennedy Space Center, Florida. A dream of the ages was about to come true. The unbelievable countdown was on. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All At 9.32 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Apollo 11 spacecraft with astronaut Neil Armstrong, Edwin Orson, and Michael Collins aboard was to be lifted by the flaming power of the 36-story Saturn V rocket into the vacuum of space. It would begin a half-million mile odyssey, a voyage which would include for Armstrong and Aldrin a day on another world. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. Hundreds of thousands of people jammed the roads and beaches miles from a lot site, wanting to be witness to the dramatic first moments of the epic journey. Radio and television carried the event to hundreds of millions more throughout the world. My colleague, CBS News correspondent Reed Collins, described the final seconds as the fulfillment of man's lunar destiny came close. We're down to 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. We should see fire. 4, 3, 2, one, we have ignition, we have tremendous flame out there. All engines, and we have liftoff. She's rising, she's yawing now to clear the tower, that slight yaw. Now the huge tail is passing the tower. She's lifting up, we have tower clear, we have tower Memorize this. Here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon. We came in peace for all mankind. Neil A. Armstrong, astronaut. Michael Collins, astronaut. Edwin E. Aldwin, Jr., astronaut. Richard Nixon, President, United States of America. But the witch man wasn't thinking too hard about all this. He happened to be staring at the front door, he always failed to lock. Its hinges the same as any other. Today, they glided open as if strung with pearls. A most high, a most radiant light bore through it like a hole carved into the heart of a mountain to illuminate the dwarven king's grave. <laughs> 